So the first of the three species I'm going to show you is Grindle worm. Now these are a lot smaller. Now there are many species of white worm that um, you can feed your fish. You've got micro worm, which are tiny. These things are less than half a millimeter in size. We've got Grindle worm, which is roughly a centimeter in size, very small. And you've got your normal white worm, which you keep in the fridge. They tend to be roughly one and a half, two centimeters in length and quite fat. And then you've got your tropical white worm, which is up to two, two and a half centimeters long. And they are a lot thinner. Now the advantage of tropical white worm is of course that you do not have to keep them refrigerated. So I'm going to show you the three species. There's no point in me showing you micro worm because they're absolutely tiny. So I'm going to show you first of all Grindle worm, then the white worm and then tropical white worm. So these worms you're seeing wriggling on this little mat there is Grindle worm. Now Grindle worm grows up to about a centimeter long and you cultivate them in soil. Unlike micro worm, which are about a third of the size, if not even smaller, and you cultivate them in porridge. Now I feed my Grindle worm porridge as well, but you can see they are absolutely tiny. These are excellent for all fish species to get them in breeding condition. So now I'm going to show you some white worm. Now these worms that you see here are the normal white worm. These worms are about one, one and a half centimeters long and they're quite fat and very white. Now I'm going to show you the tropical white worm and show you the size comparison. So as you can see in the soil there, these are the tropical white worm. Now this is a new batch that I created so they are still on a small size. These worms are actually longer than your typical white worm. The difference between this worm and white worm is that white worm is a lot fatter but the tropical white worm tends to be longer and thinner. Now I will put the two next to each other so that you can see the size comparison. So now the species on the left is the normal white worm and the species on the right is the tropical white worm. Now straight off the bat you can see there's a difference in the thickness but trust me that the tropical white worm does get a lot longer so what's the benefit of feeding your fresh tropical white worm as opposed to normal white worm well the only advantage is is that you can keep these in room temperatures rather than having to keep them in a the fridge the disadvantage is that tropical white worm takes a lot longer to get established than white worm. Now, normal white worm will multiply 10 times at least every 28 days, whereas it will take a month and a half to two months for tropical white worm to replicate 10 times. But once the tropical white worm gets established, it really gets going. So now this is the bottom of one of my uh, white worm containers. And as you can see, they hug the bottom of the plastic quite tightly there. 